Hi, my name is Ben Ford, and in the next six minutes, I'm going to share with you a crazy and kind of weird revenge story about how I wiped out my electric bill in less than 30 days, broke free from the electric company's slavery, and humiliated some big energy fat cats by getting them to actually pay me for electricity. You'll also discover how an entire town got their sweet revenge on a greedy electric company that had decided it was okay to raise everyone's bill overnight. Turns out, it was a bad decision, and this legal monopoly got a nasty surprise when an angry mob used a secret energy breakthrough against them. But most of all, I'm going to show you how you can use the exact same secret to slash your electric bill by 50%, 75%, or more, and even get paid by the electric company, no matter how criminally high your current bill is. In fact, if the electric bill is driving you to an early grave, and if you're open to finding out more about an unconventional yet super effective way to make your power run slower or even backwards, I promise you that watching this short video is going to be the best thing you do this year. Because by the end of this revealing presentation, which won't be online for long, not only will you know exactly how to save hundreds of dollars on electricity every single month, but you'll also discover how simple, quick, and easy it is to do it so you can enjoy complete energy freedom in as little as a month. Before I get into the nitty gritty details, there's something I want to make absolutely clear. It is my opinion that most people who are looking for any how-to advice, including but not limited to my own, get little if any results. I think this is because they don't take action, or if they do, they usually don't keep trying after hitting the inevitable roadblock. But if you want to succeed, you need an open mind, an ability to try things a little different than you're used to. If you're simply buying how-to information and never use it, you're probably wasting your time. But if you're really dedicated to cutting your electric bill, then you're going to love this. Again, this presentation won't be online forever, so please watch it while you can. Like I said, my name is Ben Ford. I'm a 54-year-old electrician from California. And if I'm energy independent today, it's all because of a little event that turned my life upside down. It happened three years ago in April, yet I remember it like it was yesterday. It was 9 a.m. and I was sipping on my morning coffee when I got a surprise visit from the meter man. Hey, Mr. Ford, I have good news, he said. Looks like next month you'll be paying less on electricity. We're installing one of those new power meters. They're a lot more accurate than your old one. And if you've been overpaying, this will save you some bucks. Good way to kick off a new day, I thought. I was already adding it up in my mind. You know what? Even $20 a month in savings would amount to something by the end of the year. And if it's all for free, why not? He installed the new meter and left. And in a few days, I already forgot that this ever happened. It was all business as usual until I got the new bill in the mail and remembered the whole thing. I was itching to open it, like a kid on Christmas morning. And I was back to my calculations. Hey, I wonder how much this new meter is going to save me. $10 a month? $20 a month? It would be nice to save an extra $200 by the end of the year, but what if it's more? So I ripped open the envelope and scanned for that month's figure. And then my heart stopped for a fraction of a second. It hit me like a ton of bricks, and I couldn't understand what was going on. I hadn't saved $20, not even 10 Heck, I was staring at the new bill. It occurred to me that the old meter wasn't so bad after all. And as a cold chill was creeping down my spine, the reality of it all sank in. I was now paying $184 more than the last month, almost double my usual bill. And we hadn't changed anything. No new refrigerators, no new AC units, not one extra light bulb. Nothing that would explain even half of this increase. I grabbed the phone and I called the electric company to ask if there hadn't been a mistake. Their reply, We understand your concern, Mr. Ford, but there's nothing wrong with the new meters. You've probably been underpaying till now. You should be happy. Happy? I was outraged and I wasn't the only one. Because pretty soon, I found that most of my neighbors had been mugged by the electric company too. Everyone was paying anywhere between $150 and $230 more than they used to. In fact, every single one who had a new meter installed was now paying almost double their original bill. Yet no matter how many inquiries we made to the electric company, no matter how many petitions we signed or how many letters we wrote to our senator, nothing changed. We were angry and bitter and we felt like we'd been left alone. All of a sudden, my number one wish was for my old bill to come back. I decided to do something about it, even if I didn't want to. 
So in the next month, I did everything I could to cut down on my electric bill. I changed all the light bulbs with more energy-efficient ones. Then I felt like a fool when I realized how much I spent on light bulbs. I started switching off lights and sometimes the air conditioning, despite the scorching heat. And pretty soon, my family labeled me the power Nazi. It's all for a good cause, I kept saying to myself after yelling at the kids to turn off the lights. I knew I couldn't let the electric company cut into my savings, and I was willing to pay the price. A month later, I was holding a new bill in my hands, but this time I was no longer excited, just a bit nervous. This time I knew the bill would be lower. I just didn't know by how much. And you know what? After getting my family to hate me, after spending a small fortune on new energy-efficient appliances, after going through the hottest, sweatiest month we've ever had, my new bill was just a lousy twenty-three dollars less than last month's bill, and still about a hundred and fifty dollars above what I was used to before they installed the new meter. That moment, I realized there was no way I could beat big energy at their own game, at least not the conventional way, and it was simply not worth it. If I continued like this, we'd probably all get sick during the winter and dehydrated during the summers just to save a few bucks. And what good is a few hundred bucks in savings if you end up spending it all on doctors? Meanwhile, some big energy exec is getting himself a brand new Mercedes Benz with my money. This time, saving a few bucks was no longer important. I wanted revenge. It wasn't enough to save ten percent or twenty percent on my electric bill. I wanted to make the electric company suffer and to feel the same sting I'd felt. I wanted to get entirely off the grid and never depend on those greedy bastards again. But while my neighbors were helpless about it, I had an ace up my sleeve. As I said, I'm an electrician, so you could say I know a thing or two about electricity. And one thing I was absolutely positive about was that conventional solar panels were not a solution. In my neighborhood, you could count the solar-powered homes on the fingers of one hand. The reason for this was simple, and if you've tried to go solar, you probably already know it. Fact is, a simple on-grid solar panel system will set you back at least twelve thousand dollars, the price of a good used car, and you'd still have to buy electricity from Big Energy during the night. Okay, add batteries to your system. Now the price gets ridiculous. If you want to store electricity for nighttime or even just for cloudy hours, expect to fork out at least another three thousand dollars. Usually a lot more, and be prepared to replace those battery banks every few years. Add installation costs to all that, and you'd have to sell one of your kidneys to afford going solar. Yeah, right. But even though conventional panels were not the answer, I didn't give up on my dream of energy independence. I knew, for instance, that solar panel prices were overinflated. And that there's absolutely no reason that they should cost that much. Think about it. The main and most expensive ingredient in solar panels are silicone PV cells, and silicone, in case you didn't know, is the second most abundant element in the Earth's crust. How abundant? Let's just say there's no risk we'll ever run out of it. It's 5.54 times more abundant than iron, 924 times more abundant than carbon. And roughly 251 million times more abundant than gold. That's hardly rare, wouldn't you agree? Yet the solar panel companies are charging an arm and a leg for something that's basically made of the dirt under your feet. And if you know where to look, you can get your solar cells at a fraction of what these swindlers are charging. I also knew that the rest of the components were so basic that there's simply no justification for the thousand percent markup. Other than sheer greed. Now I don't know about you, but I'm not very happy about shelling out twenty thousand dollars or more for processed sand and a few wires. Yeah, no, thank you. So instead of burying my head in the sand and blindly accepting to be taken for a fool by the electric company, I started toying with a really crazy idea. Instead of buying my solar panels, I'd make my own for a fraction of the retail price and claim my solar independence. Easier said than done. The first thing I noticed when I started pursuing my dream was there's no real documentation to be found. Only a dime a dozen e-books, some interesting blog posts that were lacking in detail, bits and pieces of good information, but nothing solid in one place. If I wanted to make my own panels, I had to do it the hard way. So I did it. I went to the library. I spent the next three weeks slaving over all the books ever published on solar panels. I tracked down some of the best experts in solar energy and managed to interview 
some super expensive solar panel installers over a beer. And in a couple of months, when I thought I had enough information to get started, I finally started my do-it-yourself project. I headed to a local store, got most of the supplies, and I discovered a special source for inexpensive solar cells online. Awesome. My total costs, only $97 and a few cents. And I couldn't believe it. The next step was to lock myself in the shed for an entire day. My total costs $195 and change, a drop in the bucket compared to what you'd pay for retail solar panels. I was so anxious to see my new panels work that I installed them the very same day. And just to prove that my work wasn't for nothing, I stopped being a power Nazi that month. I no longer cared when the kids left the lights on. We used the air conditioning, the washing machine, and dryer just like we used to. When I got my bill in the mail, I knew that this moment would make or break me. If my method didn't work, not only would it mean my months of research were a complete failure, but it would also add more dollars to an already bloated bill. This time, I was secretly hoping for a 50% cut in my power bill. Heck, even more if I was lucky. But luck had nothing to do with it. Now, I had my own solar panels. So it had to work. And boy, oh boy, was I right this time. Get this, my homemade solar panels were working so good that I had managed to make the meter run backwards. This means that the electric company was now forced to pay me for the excess energy I was selling back to the grid. Sure, it wasn't much money. It was only five bucks that later turned into more. But it was the most important five dollars in my entire life. My project was more than a success. I created my own mini power plant and I no longer needed the electric company. The very next day, the meter man paid me another visit. He said people started talking about this at the company and that they wanted to know if I'm not stealing electricity or if I was messing with the meter. Ha! The thieves were worried that someone might be stealing from them. But I was 100% legit and there was nothing they could do about it except keep paying. And if the electric company heard about it, you can be sure my neighbors heard about it. They'd all been bleeding money ever since the new meters and they were desperate to try something that would cut their bills. But I was a little worried. Sure, my method worked, but I was an electrician. Would it work for someone else, even if they'd never built anything before? Would someone with absolutely zero technical skills be able to do it and enjoy the same results? I needed to find out, but this time, testing my method was a lot easier. I spent a few more weeks tweaking the system and making it more accessible to the regular people, and then I asked my neighbor Tom to test it. Tom, who by his own admission is technically retarded, was more than happy to oblige. Tom built his own panels in just one weekend, and by the end of the month, he'd slashed his electric bill by 46%. Now, all my friends and neighbors practically begged me to release the system to the public so that more people would enjoy the independence that comes with free energy. So I took my rough method, and after a few more months of tweaks and improvement, I turned it into one of the simplest, easiest-to-use do-it-yourself systems on the market. I called it Homemade Energy because it's got all the knowledge you need to make your own energy in a matter of days from the comfort of your own home. Homemade Energy is a proven system that shows you step-by-step -step how to make your own solar panels and slash your electric bill by at least 50% in as little as 30 days. And in the last two and a half years, over 42,000 people from all over the world have used it to slash their electric bill by 50%, 75%, or more. Just look at what folks are saying about homemade energy. I've never built anything before, not even a birdhouse, but homemade energy helped me make my own solar panels regardless. That's from Rick Bank. Homemade energy saved us from bankruptcy. My electric bill was as high as our mortgage. Now we've cut it to 15% and it's getting lower with each month, says Mike Duncanson from Michigan. And Lester Chili's from Texas says, The homemade energy system is so simple and easy to use, I built an almost perfect panel for my first attempt. It's been almost two months since we're solar paneled and we've gone off the grid completely. And these are just a few of the people who've used my system to slash their electric bill and get even on the electric company. Here's a glimpse of what you'll find inside Homemade Energy. Exactly where to go to get top-notch solar cells at bargain prices, including a little-known way to get them for free and bring your panel costs down to only $90. Also, how to build a world-class solar panel in just two and a half hours. Use the simple yet little-known shortcut to make your own mini power plant and in no time flat, even if you have two thumbs and consider yourself technically challenged. The scaling secret that allows you to connect multiple panels into an array. 
so you can generate as much electricity as you want. You'll be able to power anything from a light bulb to an energy guzzing refrigerator or even your entire household. Common solar panel mistakes that no other do-it-yourself experts talk about and the easy ways to prevent them. Take these simple precautions and you'll add decades to your panel's lifetime. How to store your excess electricity for nighttime or even sell it back to the grid for a hefty profit. Watch the meter run backwards and see what it's like to have the electric company pay you for a change. Plus, a little known way to get high capacity batteries for less than 20 bucks or even for free. Also, tools that get the job done for you. Save time and money with a complete list of all the equipment pros use to build an A-grade panel in just a couple of hours. Transcripts for all the videos, including color blueprints, pictures, and shopping lists, so you can get started immediately and have your first panel in three hours or less. I've specifically created the homemade energy system to be straightforward and easy to understand. You quickly put it in place, and you're done. Now, take all that money you're spending each month on overpriced electricity and put it into something that really matters. Replace that old TV, repaint the house, give to charity, or simply give yourself a raise. You deserve that, and you deserve a system that can do this for you fast without taking a bunch of time and effort. No need to break the bank. With my special method, you can make retail-like solar panels for a mere fraction of the cost. You don't need technical skills, and do-it-yourself experience is irrelevant. In fact, the less you know about electricity and solar panels, the easier it is to use this unorthodox system. You're getting free electricity 24-7 during the day from your homemade solar panels and during the night from your simple battery system. So you'll never have to rely on the electric company again. And you can feel good about being energy independent, knowing that you're doing something to reduce our dependency on foreign oil. Homemade energy can help you achieve that and more. Plus, when you try the system today, you'll also get two fast action bonuses that will later be off the table if you put this off. Bonus number one will help you harness the power of the wind and turn it into 100% free electricity. You know how sometimes bad weather can affect the output of your solar panels? That's why I put together a special report on how to build your own wind turbine for under $200. This is as effective as it is easy to build, and you'll never experience another blackout again. It's also one of the best ways to prepare yourself for natural or man-made disasters. And with a solar and wind combo, you'll double the amount of energy your homemade power plant generates. So you'll get off the grid twice as fast. The do-it-yourself wind power special report usually sells for $27. But if you try the homemade energy system today, you'll get it for free. And I've got something extra for you that will help you keep the power on during long blackouts and protect your family from catastrophic events, especially when the entire neighborhood is in the dark. It's a comprehensive video course called Green Solar Backup, and it'll show you how to build a portable solar panel system that will give you emergency power during extended blackouts. If you look online, you'll notice a portable solar panel system usually retails for $1,400 or more. But in this course, you'll discover a simple way to make your own energy backup generator for under $97. And the course is yours for free when you put the homemade energy system to the test. By now, you're probably wondering, how much does homemade energy cost? And it's only natural. Look, homemade energy is the kind of shortcut I wish I had when I was starting out. It would have saved me months of research, tens of trips to the library, and sleepless nights reading all the obscure papers on the Internet. As far as I know, there's no other system on the market that's as simple, quick, and easy to use as this one. That's why it's kind of hard to put a price on it. So when I was trying to figure out how much to charge for the system, I considered the alternatives. For instance, a simple energy solar backup generator will set you back at least $1,400. And if you're serious about getting off the grid, maybe it's time you consider taking a new mortgage. Low-end systems start from $15,000, and routinely it can exceed $20,000. On top of that, you'll have to factor in the price of a good solar panel installer, who, for a not-so-modest fee of $3,000 or more, will do the exact same thing that you could do for free with the knowledge you get from homemade energy. But instead of talking about costs, let's take a look at how much homemade energy is going to save you on energy. I've looked at over 42,000 success stories in the past three years, and from my experience, people usually cut their electric bill by a minimum of 50%, and that's in the first month. 
That's more than $1,000 each and every year. Money that won't be lining the energy fat cat's pockets anymore. In a way, it's like cutting yourself a check for four figures each year. Money you can use to pay off debt, take your spouse on a nice vacation, or maybe put your kids through college. And think about how much your house is going to be worth once you're solar powered. I routinely hear people talking about selling their homes at $5,000 to $15,000 above the market price, even in a down market, only because the new owners know they don't need a contract with the electric company. But there's one thing you simply can't put a price on, the feeling that comes with getting free energy from your solar panels. And let me tell you, it feels great to break free from big energy. It's like you make all that anger and frustration magically disappear and you replace them with complete peace of mind as the electric company is forced to pay you for as long as you keep selling electricity back to the grid. No more fat bills to pay some greedy corporation and forget getting a small heart attack every time you see an envelope in the mail. Now you're free to enjoy your very own energy independence with the free energy you get from your solar panels. And that, my friend, is enough to give the homemade energy system a try. It's easy. Because even if I could charge hundreds of dollars for it, I won't. In fact, the first time I started selling the system, I did it for a lot less, just $97. And people couldn't believe that they could get off the grid for less than their monthly electric bill. But you're not going to pay $97 for homemade energy. In fact, I'm going to give you such a sweet deal, you'd hate yourself if you missed out on this. So here's a reminder of what you get with the homemade energy package. You get my proven plain English shortcut for making your own energy with homemade solar panels, a $97 value. You get my secret list of tools and supplies that will get the job done fast and easy and for very cheap. That's a $27 value. You get my special report on how to build a wind turbine for under $200, a $27 value. You get a step-by-step -step video course on how to make your own portable solar backup system, a $67 value. Plus, you get lifetime updates to the entire system, so you'll always have the latest breakthroughs in do-it-yourself solar power. And also, a free enrollment to my email coaching program for a full 12 months, $27 per month value. Each week, you'll get my field-tested tricks to help you slash your utility bill, protect your home from disasters, and become more independent from greedy corporations and the government without paying $27 a month like my other subscribers. It's a total value of $542. Today, just $47. This is less than what you can save in one month with the knowledge inside Homemade Energy. And it's just a one-time fee. There are no hidden costs, no auto billing, or forced continuity. So you can feel safe when ordering today. You can easily secure your copy of Homemade Energy when you click the orange Add to Cart button below. And really, the price doesn't matter. That's because you're protected by my 100% no questions asked money back guarantee. It's simple. Order the Homemade Energy Package now while you're watching this video. You'll get instant access to the shortcut videos, the manual, and all the fast action bonuses. Read the materials once and get the inexpensive parts I list in the system. Then grab your tools, head to your shed, make your first solar panels. You have a full 60 days to put my claims to the test. See for yourself what it's like to get almost unlimited power from the sun and not pay a single dime to the electric company, no matter how long you keep your appliances plugged in. Then take a look at the new power bill, just to prove to yourself that your new micro power plant lets you bill the electric company. You absolutely have to experience real savings of 50%, 75%, or even 110% in the next 60 days, or you pay nothing. It's simple. If you're less than thrilled with how much money you're saving with homemade energy, and you don't honestly think it's worth at least 10 times your investment, just drop me a line, and I'll refund your money. It doesn't matter if it's the 23rd hour of the 59th day. I'll make sure you get every cent back. But you need to move fast. I don't know for how long I'll be able to keep this price so low. So if you want to give the homemade energy system a risk-free test, simply click the orange Add to Cart button below. This is a watershed moment in your life. And the way I see it, three paths lie before you. You can wait for the problem to solve itself. Unfortunately, that's probably what most people will do. They will hope that the situation is only temporary, and they pray that the big energy execs will suddenly turn good and start charging fair prices. Right. 
Well, if you're secretly wishing for the same thing to happen, don't hold your breath. Cheap electricity is a thing of the past, and for this, we have to thank President Obama and his official war against coal. You see, coal is the number one source of energy in the USA. It's also the cheapest. Yet, while everyone and their dog is screaming that expensive electricity is killing the economy, new regulations for coal plants are making sure no one will ever get cheap energy again, unless power plants magically stumble on the 1.4 billion they need each in order to be up to code. The result: energy experts are saying that by 2015, we'll have to get used to bills that are, brace yourself, anywhere between 40 percent and 60 percent higher, and that's an average. For some, electricity costs will stay the same, while for others, they will most likely double. But that also means that if you go solar now, you're looking at five figures in savings, while everyone else is turning off the heating in the middle of winter just to save a few bucks. Of course, there's the other route. If you're the researcher type, you could always do what I did and develop your own system from scratch. And if you're an electrician like me, or you enjoy working with electronics, then you just might succeed. But even then. It's gonna be hard. When I started out, I had to sift through mountains of junk information trying to find the really useful gems. I know I probably spent hours and hundreds of dollars out of my own pocket until I had my first major solar breakthrough. So ask yourself: instead of reinventing the wheel and making the same painful mistakes all over again, wouldn't it be easier to try a shortcut that was proven to work on so many people? And that brings me to your third option and the only real solution you have to rising electricity costs. Simply try the homemade energy system today. You risk nothing. You've seen proof that it works. You've heard the success stories, and in less than a month, you will see the results for yourself. The road to energy independence starts with the push of a button. So click the orange Add to Cart button below. Claim your energy freedom and see for yourself how it feels to kick the electric company out of your home.